Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be walking you through how to fix the S-Talkier 2 colon Heart of Chernobyl controller gamepad not working issue on PC. If you're having trouble getting your controller to work with the game, don't worry. I've got you covered. Let's jump into it. Step 1. Restart your PC. The simplest fix often does the trick. Go ahead and restart your computer. Once it's back up, try launching the game again and see if the issue is resolved. Step 2. Disable Enable Steam Input Sometimes, toggling Steam Input settings can fix controller issues. Here's how to do it. Open Steam and right-click on STALKER2 in your library. Select Properties. Go to the Controller tab. First, try selecting Disable Steam Input. Save your changes and launch the game. Check if your controller is working now. If that doesn't work, follow the same steps and enable Steam Input instead. If that still doesn't work, you can try using the default settings. Step 3. Disable Xbox controller in Steam settings. If you're using an Xbox controller, let's try turning it off in Steam settings. Click on Steam in the top left corner of the Steam client. Select Settings. Go to the Controller tab. If you're using an Xbox controller, toggle off the Xbox configuration support option. Ensure generic controller configuration support is turned on. Go back to the properties of the game, select Disable Steam Input, and launch the game. Step 4. Use DS4 Windows for PlayStation controllers. If you're using a PlayStation controller, try using DS4 Windows, a third-party tool that can help. Download and install DS4 Windows. You can find it with a quick Google search. Connect your controller using a USB cable or Bluetooth. Launch the game and check if the controller works now. Step 5. Unplug unused external devices. Sometimes, additional peripherals can interfere with controller functionality. To rule this out, unplug any unused devices such as joysticks, steering wheels, or USB adapters. Disconnect any extra controllers, especially if you have multiple controllers connected to the PC. If you're using more than one monitor, try disconnecting the extra monitors and play the game with just one. Step 6. Reconnect your controller. If your controller isn't recognized, try unplugging and replugging it back in. Unplug your controller from the USB port. Wait a few seconds, then plug it back in. Try launching the game again to check if the issue is fixed. Step 7. Repair your Bluetooth controller. If you're using a Bluetooth controller, try reconnecting it. Go to Settings, then Bluetooth and Devices. Find your controller in the list, disconnect it, and then reconnect it. Once connected, launch the game again and check if the controller works. Step 8. Use Steam's Big Picture. Mode launching Steam in Big Picture mode can sometimes help with controller issues. Click on the Big Picture mode icon at the top right corner of Steam. From Big Picture mode, try launching STALKER2 and see if your controller is now working. Step 9. Update your controller firmware. For Xbox controllers, you can update the controller firmware using the Xbox Accessories app. Open the Microsoft Store and search for Xbox Accessories. Install the app and connect your controller via USB cable. Open the app, click on the three dots, and check for any updates for your controller. Once updated, launch the game again. For PlayStation controllers, use the PlayStation Accessories app. You can find it on the PlayStation website, download it, and follow similar steps to update your controller's firmware. Step 10. Use a wired connection. If none of the above steps worked, try using a wired connection for your controller. Connect your controller directly to the PC using a USB cable. Launch the game and check if the controller is now working, and that's it. One of these steps should help get your controller working with STALKER2 on PC. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.